Hi everyone, I'm Mamo Minakama. Nice to meet you all. Today, I would like to explain why your disk space does not increase even after deleting files in your workspace. And I will show you how to fix this issue. Actually, about a year ago, I posted a video showing how to manually free up space, but some of my colleagues said it was hard to understand. So, I created a script that does this automatically. Alright, let's get started! Yo, I'm joining in today. Nice to meet ya. Oh, hello Naseki. Let's learn together. In this video, I'm using Explorer to search for the virtual image that WSAL is based on. But my friends could not even grasp the concept of folder, so they were completely lost at this stage. Yes, I understand it can be difficult if you don't grasp the concept of folders. Well, even if you understand the basics, you still need to consider things like hidden file settings, right? Oh, hello, Mr. Shirakawa. Yes, the, the file path hierarchy is quite deep, and it's tedious, even if you are familiar with it. That's why I created this script. The other day, I saw someone who was great at generative AI and programming, but their computer was a total mess because they didn't know the basics. All right, I get it. Well then, shall we take a look at the script? But first, we need to make sure WSL is stopped. So let's check that. I can see that the WSL instance, you want to free up space on is running. I will stop it using the PowerShell command shown in the video. Hold up. Shouldn't we check if there are any programs running or unsaved files in WSL first? All right, we are fine now, since there are not any unsaved files. But that could be a problem if there were. I used to shut down WSL the same way as regular Linux, but apparently the method that we just used is the recommended approach. There are several differences across the entire specification between WSL and Genuine Linux, so you need to be careful about usage and behavior. I was curious about this, so I looked into it, and that's apparently the case. By the way, when I asked Genitive AI about it, it just repeated the former explanation without adding anything new. Is that so? So we need to take all that into consideration? Yes. Oh, I almost forgot to mention something important. I need to explain why free space doesn't increase despite deleting files in WSL, as mentioned in our table of contents. In Dosa, disk space is managed through a dual system, so deleted files are not immediately reflected as free space. This behavior is actually by design in virtual hard disks. Well, if that's how it's designed, we don't need to overthink it. So now WSL is completely shut down, right? Yes, we can finally get to the main topic. Implementing the script. This is the content of the script. But don't worry if it seems completely incomprehensible. Hmm, I see. From a quick glance, this script automatically locates the virtual disk and automates the process of freeing up and used space. As expected from a former hacker, oh excuse me, programmer. Now let's continue. We will launch PowerShell with administrator privileges. I will place this script somewhere easy to find. In the video, I have put the file in a folder called YouTube on the C drive. Now I will navigate to where the file is located using PowerShell commands. Hey, hold on a second. Isn't the video so short because viewers get confused at this point and drop off? Huh? But I don't know how to explain it any more clearly. What should I do? You'll just have to get creative with it. Still, having an average view time of less than two minutes for a 10 minute video is seriously bad. Yeah, I know, but I don't have time to make other genre videos. Actually, we are already past the two-minute mark, so viewers who have watched this far deserve some praise. Oops, 
going to continue? Why, all that's left is to run the script. Not bad. I'll give you some praise, since I feel sorry for you. Say, Angst. But there's still more to this Vegas, you know? Well, using official tools within the script is a good approach. I'll give you some praise too. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So, shall we move on to the next spot? Some people might be using multiple WSAL instances. So here is a useful script for when you already know the location of your virtual hard disk. By the way, this WSL was created from outside the Microsoft Store. This should also save you some time. Write down the path to your virtual hard disk, and just like before, launch command prompt with administrator privileges. Alright, we are all set. Let's run the script, just like we did before. I doubt many viewers have multiple WSL setups. Seems like you're making videos for a smaller and smaller audience. Well, I'll give you props for creating content that doesn't exist elsewhere. Thanks. Just wait a moment. Whoa, that freed up a lot of space. I'll genuinely praise you for that. Congratulations. Thank you. Looks like we got results in the end. I deleted Docker images and cache files inside WSL. So that concludes our video about WSL virtual hard disks. Whew, I'm relieved to get sincere praise at the end. Well everyone, let's meet again next time. Goodbye.